Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival, brought to you by your host Zelot uh, from Geek Tech Industries. So today we will be working on decorating and, and finishing up the medical center. I'm going to show you what I did here. Um, so last episode, if you recall, I dec we decoed up the um, cafeteria and put in the the equipment so that the food processors and and stuff like that so it's now I have a fully functional cafeteria with the with the garden there growing and making making food so I can I'm now got full-time food production on site and I can just run up there and make it, it's like 20 cans at a time boom um, so it's great I don't have to fly all the way up to the supply depot. Although flying up to the supply depot is great too. You can make like 90 cans at, at a time. So, okay, enough Gabby. I'm gonna show you around a bit. So let me, of course it's dark out right now, but that's okay. It'll, it'll lighten up and then you'll see what we've done. Um, let's go. Uh, did I grab any of that? No, I didn't. Let's go into my control panel. I want to grab my um, deco. So I should have put that in my base CV blocks. Here we go. Some artificial plants. Grab the furnishings. Need those. Need the tech equipment and some consoles too. I don't know about antennas. I don't think so. Okay. So. This is, let's go outside. Hopefully I don't have to go into um, night vision mode. Woo, dark. It'd be dark out. Let's. The trim's on. So the light is going to, it's going to be hard to put lights on. I'm going to have to put them right over the doors. On the windows. Well, you know what? Uh, I've. I've done that in other areas, so it's not going to look completely out of place. I need to get this light up. Get some over here too. Continue the theme. I think I'm going to do two though. One to either side. Hmm. That doesn't work, does it? Okay, so if I do... Let's do Let's just pop these off for a second without popping a hole in my building. Okay. Uh you know what? Let's do it adjacent to the pillar. Um for this one too. Okay. Uh, that's much better because the pillar kind of centers it. The pillar centers it that way, right? Okay. So we should do that over here. Because I can't actually put it on the pillar because the pillar has the wood paneling on it. So the wood paneling, if I if I did put it there, it'll for it, see. It won't, I can't even force it to there. See, look at how far it sticks out. It's going to be like way too far out. That doesn't work for me. Okay, so let's do this. Go here. Get this up there and like that. And then we're going to go here and like that. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about the garage doors, though. I'm going to worry about that later. Okay. So that doesn't look too bad, though, eh? For front, let's uh, drone it up. 
we should be able to get at least a feel for what it looks like on the front here. So I haven't, uh, I haven't done all the painting yet, obviously. Um, but what I'm going to show you is I, I built the little side building. I dug out this whole area. It's really hard to see at night here. Sorry, guys. I'll probably do the tour in a bit when the sun comes out. So I built this little side. I'm, I'm, let's call it a office space, really, with a, with a, with a useless attic with a window. Um, and that, that finishes that off there with uh, some roof tile. So, so again, our roof theme carrying across. It's hard to see, I know. I, I know. So there's multiple peaks now all the way across. And then we come down to, yes, a glass structure. So this is the medical center. So where we just put up all these lights here. Uh, this is going to be basically like a little hospital, uh, my own personal little private hospital. Uh, and yeah, I think, it, I think it looks pretty good. And that's what we're going to decorate today. So let's do it. Let's quickly paint this up. So this is the soft gray off white. Get that up there. Makes the doors pop out better. Okay, and then on the wood paneling, it's this slightly darker color than the default. Okay. Okay, and that, that actually makes the windows pop out better too. So I like the, I like this color much better. Okay, so nice. Yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. I'd probably be pretty proud to live in something like this. <laughs> My wildest freaking dreams, are you kidding me? Okay. Uh, get this all painted. There we go. There we go. I, I, I really like the, how that wood paneling really pops. It really, really makes the whole thing pop out. Let's get my radar up here. So we've still got another five, it says five hours, 41 minutes. Now that's game minutes, which is like, couple seconds each minute I think I forget anyway let's get this painted let's get this done we've got lots so much work to do on this place uh, I feel like I've gotten a lot done and when the sun comes out we'll get a better feel for what's accomplished okay so let's I think that's it for now for the outside uh, I don't I think there was oh yeah we got lots of painting here lots of painting we got some lights to throw up and we got deco to put outside here too actually come to think of it so i went with a very um sort of modern contemporary in this section of the building because I wanted it to have kind of a um, a more I don't know more modern feel to it, so that so that if you came in to get treatment, it didn't feel like you're going into some archaic freaking back office dealing freaking quack job freaking medical center you know so i wanted it to make it, it it feel like it's like it's actually a legitimate place where you can go to heal okay so that's painted 
Is this all painted now? It's hard to tell. The odd one here and there. The odd one here and there. So as I find them, I'll, I'll do them. Obviously, it's just it's just hard to capture ca or catch them all on, on a project this size the first time around. Okay, so that's looking like it's all painted now. My drone's unhappy. Let's head back inside. So I'm thinking this is going to be reception. Uh, we obviously need more lighting. Really? Why is this so dismal that I... Huh. What's going on here? Oh, that's bizarre. Okay, let's let's drone it up. Yeah, there's bizarreness going on here. Oops. Okay. Okay, it looks like I need to paint all this too, so we should probably paint it. Let's get some lights up so that I can actually see. Put one there. Let's match that up. Oh yeah, this isn't the reception. This is the side. This is the treatment area. Let's... Right. Drones can't activate those. So this is reception here. So when we come in here, let's get that painted. Oh, they are. Okay. Just kind of looked like it wasn't there for a second, but I missed some texture in there. Oops. A little twitch, and we got to do a touch up. Okay. So this is a treatment area. And oh, we got to fix that. So that is this texture. We might as well get this the right color because easier to do after or easier to do before all the deco goes up, right? Paint before you put the cabinets up, right? Right? Okay. Get this done. And up, there we go. And I, I really like this color. It's much better than the um, than the default. And it makes the the off white uh, trim really pop. And then it also pops against the um, stonework, the walls. Whereas the softer, this softer brown doesn't. See? So you can see, doesn't that, see what I'm saying? It, 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 it pops more. I don't know if that's the right term, but. See, it just looks better. I think so anyway. And you know what? That's all that matters. I'm the one that's going to be using this facility. So, okay. Uh, we've got that all painted up. We've got that all textured. I think this room is ready for some deco. Do we need some more lighting? The back there, maybe? See, there's a light out in the hall. So I think we need another light. It's a little dreary. So you know what? Because it's a treatment room, we need, we need light. We need some epic lights. So we need some ceiling ones. Let's do that. And oh, I can't right there. So we'll bring that out one. Okay. And there. Nope. That doesn't work. Sometimes just figuring out light placement can be a pain in the ass, let me tell you. Uh. So centering it in the window is not going to work because it pushes it over to the wall too much. So we need to, we need to respect the wall space, I think, more. 
So it's at the right. Yep. So I think we need to kind of duplicate what how wide it is from that side. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing. Come on. One. Two. Okay. Getting there. Getting some light up. And I think. I think the same thing up over here. Um, so it'll be just in front of the wall and in this track. So we'll, we'll do it right there and right there. Okay. Okay, so let's figure out so people come in they get rushed in here either side from the ambulance and see that the place is not even painted and they're like oh my god get me out of here um don't i have a better insurance plan come on Oh, and that is incorrect. So, you know, they hire like idiots to do the job. There we go. Okay. Uh, where were we? So we need gear in here. Um, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking little chunked out sections with like lab tables and stuff, right? So maybe, Maybe this will be where the where they get all their like blood work and get get like stuff like that. I don't know. So let's check out some decos. Now this is the tech deco for um, basically this sort of area. Although we could go with some consoles too, I think, and we can also go with furnishings. So let's start with some, some scanner table. So we want to spin that. Now, do we want that like right under the light like that? Or off to the, I think we want the scanner. Let's put that there. And then we basically want everything represented. So let's get this table. Do we put that there or up against the wall? You know what? I think we need, I think I'm doing this wrong. I think instead of against the wall for the scanner tables, I think they need to be in the center. I think up against the wall, what we need is like containers and crap like this. And like other lab, like there's a, a desk lab table. There's some lockers. So let's start with, oh, why is that? Really? Oh, is that backwards? Oh, yeah. <laughs> derp -a derp. Okay. Let's try this again. Uh, one. I'm not sure about one. Is there a, a multiple one? No. Bow chamber. Wait, is that um, is that like just a furniture deco, the multiple one? We've got a closet. I don't want that. I want like a personal cargo container. To, oh, is it? Oh, is it a cargo box? Do I have any? Let's see. So I have it in HVSV blocks. Nope. Okay, I'm just going to make one. Oh, 
think I actually need cargo boxes, but I can always I can always scrap it. So let's try. Good. More doors. That's good. Uh, okay, so let's try this cargo box. Don't need the blocks right now. Uh, now is there, no, no, I don't want a standing cargo box, that's going to look cheesy. Then is it, is it one of these then? No. And I think I, so one side should be like the lab, one should, side should be like the operating tables. Um, hmm. So this will go good over in the lab, this sort of stuff, right? Although a console, this might work pretty good for like up against the wall. What does it do? Oh, it's a table. I see. It's a map. Yeah. That's exactly what we need, a map. I don't really care what it actually is on the top. It, I just didn't like the look of that. And I'm not really interested in this here. Okay, this is proving to be more challenging. Um, hmm. So there's nothing really um, in the way of a hang, um, a, a locker that I want. You know what? We'll use the individual lockers for upstairs in like the, the patient rooms. So let's do, let's do, A couple of these big things. Um, looks like some fridges of some sort, some chemical stuff. We'll do another big one right beside it. And then we're going to need what's this? A small one over. Let me spin that over here. Sure, we'll put that there. Um, I don't want to do the same deco everywhere, right? So let's do a lab table. And my phone. Which I'll just put on ignore. Okay, so I think this is the table I want. Now, do I want, so this is like an autopsy table with like, <laughs> I'm gonna dissect him and put his organs in these fridges behind me. That sounds good. Okay, so we'll do that. And then, um, What else? Some O2. So that can like hang off the wall. Or like from the ceiling, the wall. Let's take, let's see. Like that, or like maybe twist it down, hang it hanging down. We'll have that. We'll have that over here. We'll have a couple of them here, and then we'll have some funkadoo like cryo chambers or something. Yeah. There we go, okay. 
And then what are we going to want? We're going to want some, some real equipment in the side. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> stuff that does stuff. Uh, I think I want more tables. Lab table. So do we do like lab table there? Like that. Yeah. Okay. And then and then we do so another lab table. That one has a thingy on it, so I think I think does that go up against a wall or something? Yeah, see that one's for like a up against the wall. I think that might work then, right? And then we put, uh, and then we put, let's do a chair. Oh, it's off centered. Well, that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll do an off centered chair. And then, so no chair there. We can do two chairs, I guess. So maybe some, maybe over here, we do like a, it's like a radar screen or something, you know? Like, hmm. Like from the ceiling? Oh, that's too far up. The floor. Uh, what about if we do a a target lock symbol because we have a turret we want to shoot? No, that's not it. Um, oops, stop that. Get out of there. Let's go back into my decos here. See what we can do. Um, do we do a locker there? Yeah, you know what? That works. Okay. And then, <clears throat> so we got some lab equipment in. Uh, so sample. You know, blood sample boxes. We've got a lab table to to lie down on and and get your blood drawn. Okay, uh, over here we don't want to make it too busy. So I like that table right there. That that like operating room table thing right there. And maybe we should start on the other side. I mean, it doesn't have to be too, too busy, does it? It's probably another something else I can do here. Repositories. Do I do a whole bunch of little operating table? Let's, oh, it's a little nightstand for an operating table. Okay. Um, Let's see what it looks like, and I can't get it really that I can only get that close. And let's just place it down. Operating table. Oh, I see. It's the um, the tool caddy. Okay, that works. That works. Let's actually do two of those right there. Okay, uh, what can we do here? I don't want to like fill, have to fill every space, but, but my OCD kind of tells me I have to. We can do maybe some, another like, yeah, 
Maybe this is where I do the... Oh, or, oh, you know what? Maybe we do something like this. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. It doesn't have to be too outrageous, does it? Okay, and let's see what it looks like when we paint it. Not that. When we paint it, the off gray. So we get that. Oh, wow, that turned like dark gray, didn't it? And that turned white. And okay. Um, okay, well, that's. Oh, oh, I see. That gray matches that. Okay. Okay, well, maybe. Let's see. Okay. Those definitely look better. And. Okay, well, I mean, this is the color that it's supposed to be, so, okay, there we go, there we go, so the lab room is built, nothing super duper ultra fancy i mean hell this is a castle not a hospital so let's i like it i like it let's go over here now this is where the real equipment's going to be now what i say by the real equipment is this is where all the scanners are going to be and all the actual functional equipment so this will be like the Another operating room, trauma room. Okay. Um, and I like the fact that people can see in from the inside the blood squirting and, you know, him like pulling out the bone saw. And I'm gigging that. That's good. Okay, so let's do some more stuff. So we want... We want... We want to starve to death because that's always fun. So, oh, I don't have any food on me. Well, that's okay. I'm standing on my base. I can just go into, yes, I know I'm hungry. Let's do the, da, 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 the canner food. I think I left some cans in there. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> From the last time I went picking, I just threw it all in there and started it. Walked away. I can just access that any time, so that's not that big of an issue. So what we want, I think we want like a, 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 a double-sided one. So we want that, and then we want to spin this around and go like that. And then we want those operating tables so we want oh right they don't they don't connect to that very well do they if i spin it like that that's not bad and that okay um That really sucks. I don't like the gap there. Hmm. Okay, this double thing isn't working for me. Let's do the single. We'll do that setup here to the double operating table with the examination table. Okay, and then we need we need to like grab him and transition or whoever. So there should be like another Let's do the scanner over here. This is like the most critical piece of equipment there is in a in a medical center, in my opinion. It does some pretty heavy lifting. 
Uh, so we'll set that up like right there. Boom. So they get scanned. Holy shit. That's what's wrong with him. We better bring him over here and like cut his arm off. Okay. And then let's get the other table, the other scanner table over here too. Um, actually, maybe we'll do that here. Do that here. Yeah, because that can pivot around. So those two there. Okay. Because then, because on the other side here, we want the scanners. So, how does this thing work? Which way is it supposed to be facing? So that looked like a, that looked like the console there, eh? Okay, so. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. And then hmm, what we really need is a light to come all the way down above and hang above that table. So how would I do that? Let's get the other let's get the other scanner up too. So this one, maybe go here or on this side or right here. Now this, th this looks like it can do something. Yeah. Hmm. You know what, let's, let's nuke one of these because we don't need perfect asymmetrical crap all the time. And then we'll do this. Now what's, so that, wait, is which, I don't know which way is front and back. Is that front or is that back? Is that, I don't know, is that, is that the way it goes? No, because there's the console right there. God. Okay. So that's what I thought. Okay. So that goes here. Like that. That's not bad. That's not bad. We're getting there. So. Those are the four critical pieces of equipment and I'll show you. So you can see they actually, they're functional. They do stuff. This guy here can get rid of freezing heat stroke gradient, blah, 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 blah. A whole, a whole plethora of stuff you saw pop up there. Radiation sickness, radiation poisoning. This guy does the parasites, all the stages. This guy does the broken leg, open wounds. And this guy does the food poisoning, poisonous bite. So we need to get rid of radiation levels and we need to get rid of um, bad trip. Now, the only way to do that is by installing showers. So I think let's do that. So we install a shower here. Now that is the, oh, I've got it there. Number seven. And I think we want the more, 
No, we want the sealed in looking ones. We want a shower there. We want, is there a sink? Kitchen counter, bathroom vanity. Oh, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Cause you need, you need a sink to operate with. So, okay. Uh, so we're gonna shower, get rid of the radiation. I mean, we don't really need a toilet unless you do bad trip a lot because of um, energy pills. So that pretty much will get rid of the gambit of problems that I'm likely to be facing and probably never face them on wind, realistically. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just for show really. But the one thing I do want to put in here, uh, not in the operating side, actually on this side, I might actually have to pop something. Uh, I need to put in a, I'll go in right there. Okay. So let's grab them. Oh, did I not? I didn't make them. And where are they here? We want to make a, some meds, a meds fridge, stuff for meds. So let's go with a T2 fridge and a regular food processor. So I'm going to have a specialized food processor and fridge for medical stuff. Because I, I believe there's a bunch of perishable stuff uh, that you need. Um, so keep it in a fridge until you're about to craft with it. So let's grab these. We don't need the... Uh, so that's going to be... The first thing I put down is the food processor, spin it around so that the console's there. So we put that there and then a fridge. Okay, nice. So that really fleshed that out too. It's not too busy. Paint those up. Okay, then I, because these are actually going to be specific functioning things, uh, what I want to do is I want to put them into their appropriate groups. So just by targeting it and then hitting P, it'll, it'll take you to it in the devices tab. Um, or if, if you're not in the devices tab, just go to the devices tab and it'll default to what you had targeted when you hit your uh, control panel. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. In this case, we're just going to add to group because we already have a food processor group. Okay. And then this fridge, we're also going to add to an existing group called fridge. Okay. Okay, so now uh, we lost our target. So instead of targeting the wrong thing, I'll just close that and I'll control panel again while targeting it. And this takes me to specifically which one in my food processor list. I'm going to call this the uh, medical. And let's close this again. We're going to target this one, same thing. And with this fridge, we're going to call it medical also. Okay, so we need to get our actual medical and cloning station and medical station in here too. I know we have one downstairs, but I mean, for, 
for completionist sake. So we need to build those. Let's go in and build those. They'll just take a second to pop off. Do a clone chamber and a med stage. We don't need a clone chamber because we're get, we have a medic chamber. But again, we don't need 99.9% .9 of the stuff that we're doing right now with this place. So. Okay, so these chambers, cloning, because this is a lab, I'm thinking that might be, this might be the spot to put them. I mean, I guess we could put them in the back wall. They do stuff, right? They heal, they actually do stuff. Do the back wall here. Eh. Let's see. Let's see. I can always I can always rip them out if I don't like it. And that is facing the wrong way. So we'll put that in. And we'll put his buddy in. Okay, and then we'll get those painted up. In fact, we'll paint all this stuff up. <clears throat> okay. Okay, that's not heinous. We've still got a crap ton of room in here, too. Um, hmm. So maybe we need more deco equipment, like the, the techno stuff. Do we'll do that here? Or should we put that stuff here? We, let's have a matching one across the window with this one. Yeah. And then... Uh, a media center. Not sure. Hmm. Media center. Gets washed out from the light. It's not a very good spot for it. Hmm. Hmm. I like that. I want to put one somewhere. And miss some texturing. Oh, there's some dirt. Let's get this textured. Oops, wrong texture. That's it. Uh, where was that dirt? Okay. <clears throat> well, you know what? I think we're running the length of this episode here. Uh, as I say, I've got a billion decos to put in once... I get all these rooms up and running. Uh, but I think I accomplished what I wanted to right now. I got the main items in. So I got a shower in. Um, there's going to be toilets all over the place too, which I'll probably, I'll probably install a toilet over here. Or no, that the toilet, you know what? The toilet goes over in the lab because... You know, you need somewhere to go pee in a cup, right? Right? So the toilet... We need to keep that table. We need... Hmm. We need that too. Um, 
damn, there's nowhere really good to put the toilet unless I get rid of one of the... I like those with the cryo chamber. You know what? You know what? Let's... No, I like both those there too. Ugh! Where can we put the toilet? Do I move this? Yeah. I think we need to put a toilet in. Let's do it uh, right there beside this. It'll be the same size that way. So, spin that around. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And then, um, and then we'll go like this. And for decency's sake, we'll just, um, we'll just put a door on it. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. So that where you can give your your uh, you know urine sample and poop sample. Uh, let's put the what do we got here? Can we big screen TV? Um, closet. I like that. I like the lab table thing so let's let's get that back and we can scrap the container so if we go like that or like that oh it's tweaking out it doesn't want to do that okay wait i'm not sure which way is which with this to tell you the truth i think it's this way but it's got stuff on the other side it's it's almost like it's meant to be like this. That's exactly what it's meant to be. Yeah, so there we go. And then over here we can have some some waiting room chairs. So there. And there. Hmm. Okay. So that's cool. Uh, and what about over here? Can we, should we put some... I don't know. That'll interrupt the flow. It's not really up against the wall very well. You know what, let's go with that for now. That doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad. Um, looks like kind of a reception desk, right? Can I put that here? Maybe I'll do that, yeah. So we'll do that. There we go. There we go. So we've got, uh, oh, we should paint all this up. That painted door. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Looking good. Looking good. Well, guys, I think we'll call it here. Uh, next episode, we will continue working on the castle, probably. Um, I'll probably deco out the rest of this medical center. There's some some space upstairs where like that are going to be like patient areas where with beds and stuff and and then there'll be some uh <clears throat> yeah. And potentially a office mezzanine up at the very top uh with some with some computer office equipment stuff like that. 
And I'll do something. I'll think of something for this reception area. There's probably going to be some um, count a counter of some thing with some with some chairs with a whole bunch of chairs, waiting room chairs. Right? Is he going to die? Okay. And actually, you know what? Let's no. You know what? We're running out of time here. We're way over time. So let's let's call it here. Next time you come in, I'll have a whole bunch more of the deco done. Um, I'll have more of the building built, and then we'll deco out more of the building, and we'll get more done. And it, but it, uh, we're almost. You know what? The sun's almost out, so that'll be perfect timing. We'll, we'll, um, we'll let the sun come out, and let's go as the sun's coming up. We'll go explore out here. It's painting. Good. That's all painted. We'll take the tower up. We'll take it all the way up. And we'll take it right into the tower chamber. And as the sun comes up, we should be able to see or wait. Oh damn, that's the sun going down. We missed the sun. Crap. Well, there it is, folks. It's hard to see. <laughs> it took it took too long. It took took a whole freaking day, night and day doing doing the deco for that uh, medical center. But there you have it. Um as the sun goes down on my castle so we still got lots to do up here like the basically there's not much done up here yet i still got to level this area i'm going to do i'm going to do something special for my living quarters and then um we'll we'll get that building built that's going to be a massive part of the structure and we'll get that over there that is the start of the um, the mechanical sh shop. So, and that's going to be pretty cool. It's going to have be multi-layered with some big hangers for SVs to come fly down into, and have some multi-layered um, parking. Uh, so it's going to be, it's going to be a functional shop for me. It's probably where I'm going to be like hanging out most of the time. So that's going to be a big project. So that section has to get done. So that's a major section that needs to be done. My living area is another major section that needs to get done. And this building section, that large, it's gonna look kind of like a large house type thing. Um, that has to get done. So we've got three large sections that I need to get done. Um, but, it's coming along. It's coming along. It more and more and more every day. It looks more and more like a castle. So I'm I'm pretty excited about that. And it gets more and more and more functional. Uh, let's take a look at its stats really quick before I close this episode off. So it is a oh my god, it's a class twenty three <laughs> base so far. It's class twenty three, and I haven't even I haven't even come close to actually doing the. Um, we're probably about. Uh, I don't know, three fifths of the way done. So still, that's that might climb up to like a class thirty by the time we're done. Who knows? But um, hardly using any power. And oh, some of the lights are off. Why are some of the lights off? Huh. Well, that was funky. Some of the lights were off. Well, now what was our power just jumped up? Wow, we're we're using a whole megawatt. Well, we have five hundred of them available with our one generator. So, this entire complex is now using one five hundredth of the power that that generator can put out. So, I think that one generator is going to be sufficient for this entire castle. Okay, guys, uh, let's call it here. If you like this episode, like and subscribe. Uh, next time, we're going to keep working on the castle. And eventually, I'll have this done and we'll go out and smash some stuff. 
Okay, guys. Let's um, call it here, and I will talk to you later. Have a good one.